Mona, last chance to check your audio. You hearing anything? Do do you know who Lillian Oppenheimer was? Or she's the founder of our organization, and she gave it. They met in her apartment, and she called it Origami. She gave Center. it a very Origami Center of America. Yes, she gave it a very <laughs> prestigious name. And we were meeting in a little apartment, and she called it. Or that or, um, or that we sent to America. And she wanted to have an anthem because we're a recognized organization and every organization has its anthem. And we tried to write it together, but we giggled so much she couldn't we couldn't do it. She passed away in nineteen ninety two and finally if you look at the 1995, I finally wrote it, and she wanted it to the tune that was universal, that everybody would know, so I picked out the Battle Hymn of the Republic, so we'll Thanks. try to sing it. I'll do just the chorus so you can remember.
Let's turn it to the white side. And fold the bottom long cut edge to the top long cut edge. Are you in our class now? No, I'm in Jackson. Oh, okay. I'm oh. <laughs> Fold the long cut edge to the folded edge. From top to bottom, fold, turn the cut, cut edge, it's on top, bring it to the bottom, and fold the long cut edge to the folded edge. You can see if you've done it correctly. Because if you had, you'll see the letter W at the cross section. Or if you turn it over, you'll see the letter M. So you can check it. Now you notice you have two long folded edges and two long cut edges with the folded edge sandwiched in between. You're going to position the paper so that the two long folded edges are on the right. I put it down on the table. Take the other paper away so that you can see what you're doing. Unfold the first layer only. You'll notice on the top you have a single cut edge on the right and a double cut edge on the left. You're going to take each of these cut edges, diagonally fold them inward so that they meet on that center vertical valley crease creating two isosceles triangles. This is your mnemonic device that helps you remember what you did. You'll remember you folded two isosceles triangles. And you're going to do the same thing on the bottom. Diagonally fold the double cut edge and the single cut edge so that they meet on that center vertical valley crease and press firmly. You're now going using the existing center valley crease, you're going to fold the folded edge over to the cut edge on the outside. Folded edge over to the cut edge. Now when my blind students are folding, it helps them if they hold up the center, hold the cut you just made hold to the center, and fold the short cut edge on the bottom to that long vertical valley crease, making a triangle. 
and you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now you're going to fold the cut edge up to the folded edge and the folded edge to the outer edge. And this is your paper canoe. And what can you do with the paper canoe? Repeat. What? can you do with the paper canoe? And it's astounding. I've created at least 30 models using the paper canoe. So we'll have a bit of time to fold some of them. <coughs> now if you take your canoe and stand it on the the cut edge and fold down it's going to look like this You're going to take the bottom triangles and fold them under the top triangles. And believe it or not, what you've made is a letter fold. If you ever want to leave a note for somebody or even mail a letter, you fold it like this. You have, you've already written your message. The song you sang is the written message. And this is the envelope. Of course, you can make it larger if you want, using a larger sheet of paper. Now, the best way to leave a message is to use the triangle, put it down so that you're leaving a message to somebody. You see that? If you write a message, you want to leave it to somebody in the morning, you can write it at night and they come in and they see the message waiting for them. Hmm? Very easy, but very useful. So that's one thing we can do with a paper canoe. I'll take another paper. And once again, when we folded it, did we start with the colored side up or the, the white do you remember side. the white side up? Okay. But that um, the, that put the pattern inside too. Yeah. I put the pattern inside. inside. So if you want the pattern on the outside. And okay, so yeah. let's start with the colored side up. Once again, position the paper so that the two long edges are top and bottom. Fold the bottom long cut edge to the top long cut edge. Fold the cut long cut edge to the folded edge. Turn the paper over from top to bottom. Fold the, the cut edge to the folded edge.
rotate the model so that the double folded edge is on the right and the cut edge with the folded edge sandwiched in between is on the left. Unfold the first layer only. Put it flat on the Once again, we're going to diagonally fold the single cut edge and the double cut edge on the top. And do the same thing on the bottom. Using the existing valley crease, fold the folded edge on the left to the cut edge. Diagonally valley fold the bottom shortcut edge to that vertical valley crease. Top and bottom. Fold all three layers together to get your paper canoe. Rotate the paper so that the long folded edge is on the top and the short cut edge with the folded edge is on the bottom. Front layer only. Fold the bottom cut ledge up to the folded edge. Unfold and turn that mountain crease into a valley crease by folding the cut edge into the existing horizontal <coughs> valley crease. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Unfold and fold the cut edge into the existing valley crease and fold it down. <coughs> Rotate the paper so that the long folded edge is on one side and the short folded edge is on the other. Stand the model up on the short folded edge and we're going to Fold it down as we did before and then fold it. This time you're going to take the end where you see those slanted folded edges and fold 
down the way I have done on both sides. Going to fold the model together. I tell you, it'd be easier if you take the outside and just crease it, make a valley crease like that. And then a valley crease on the other side in the same way. <coughs> I'll reinforce that valley crease which is now a mountain crease when you look at it. And what do you have? What is it? It's a paper canoe. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's a paper canoe. All right, we'll take another piece of paper. With the printed side up, we're going to position the paper so that the long cut edges are top and bottom. Fold the bottom long cut edge to the top long cut edge. Valley fold the cut edge to the bottom folded edge turn the model from top to bottom and fold the long cut edge to the long folded edge Rotate the paper so that the short cut edges are top and bottom and the two long folded edges are on the right. Fold the bottom short cut edges to the top short cut edges. Unfold, and once again, we're going to take the right single cut edge and the double cut edges and diagonally fold them inward to meet on that long vertical valley crease and crease firmly on the folded edges of the triangles and do the same thing on the bottom. Using the existing vertical valley crease, fold the folded edge to the outer cut edge. Once again, 
stand that middle part up to serve as the reference point and fold the small cut edges on the bottom and top into that long vertical valley crease. Now we fold all the edges together to make our paper canoe. <coughs> Once again, we're going to open the front layer and fold you can turn the paper around if it's easier and fold the cut edge into the folded edge into the it's now a horizontal valley crease and fold over the cut edge turn the model over from top you can do it from side to side. Unfold the top layer. Fold the cut edge into the horizontal valley crease. And fold it over on itself. And once again, you can see your paper canoe. Unfold, open up the two and once again watch fold one side and watch fold the other now you're going to valley crease where the edges converge just goes there naturally. And if you turn the model over, you'll see this is, when you stick it through, you'll turn the model over and you see that you've created a frame. And you'll stand it up on the edges that you just made in the back. That's right. Stand it up. It looks like that. And you have a picture frame. All of these are very useful models. You just don't take them, fold them, and stick them in the box and never use them again. I like to make simple, useful models. So let's try again. Take another piece of paper.
position the paper so that the long cut edges are top and bottom. Pretty side up. Fold the bottom long cut edge to the top long cut edge. Some people like to fold up, some people like to fold down. If you like to fold up, why don't we all do that? Rotate the paper so that the folded edge is on the top and the cut edges are on the bottom. Fold. We're going to fold front layer only, fold the bottom long cut edge to the top long folded edge. Turn the paper over from side to side <coughs> and do exactly the same thing. Rotate the paper so that the two long folded edges are on the right. Unfold the first layer. Notice on the top you have a single shortcut edge on the right. Get the position you're in and it's long the double shortcut edges on the other side. You're going to take the single cut edge and the double cut edge, diagonally fold them so that they meet on that long valley crease. And you're doing the same thing on the bottom. So the folded edge to the outer cut edge. And once again, you're going to take the cut edges on the top and the bottom and diagonally fold them to the long valley crease. And once again, you have your paper canoe. This time, you're going to take the bottom portion and fold it to the top portion in half. And crease firmly on that bottom folded edge. Go several times. Oh, oh, oh excuse me. Unfold. Now you'll notice there's a double long cut edge and a short cut, short cut edge. You're going to position the paper so that the short cut edge is on the bottom and the long cut edge is on the top. And you're going to diagonally fold half of the bottom to the center crease. And then don't crease until they match. And then the other half, creating what looks like the tulip. And crease very, very firmly. 
go over it several times. Unfold. Turn the model over from side to side, and you're going to change change those valley, those mountain creases into valley creases by doing what you did before, and again making sure not to. And once again, you're going to get your tulip and crease very, very firmly. Unfold. Stand the model up so that the you see the long folded edges on the top and using the existing creases you're going to create double triangles on every side on each side right and left side yes but we now have an action model and to activate it, you're going to, don't hold it from the back, you're going to, with the, with the, with, with the articulated, with a little, go a little bit for, that's right. This paper is very brittle, it tears extremely easy. I have some bandages for it, if you want to take the pictures for it. Okay. Now you can see this. I'm a hungry little fish. Please give me a hug and kiss. And then you usually have, you take metal, you take the silver and candy bar, and make it into a little ball. And I am hungry all the time. Mm -hmm. Feeding me is not a crime. Yes, I'm a friendly, hungry fish. Please give me a hug and kiss. Then you're going to, in order to keep the mouth together, you're going to lift up the triangle and you're going to Put it on the side and take the double folded edges and fold it into the existing crease and roll it over on itself. You're going to turn the model over. and do exactly the same thing. You're going to hold the double triangles up. You're going to take the double folded edges and fold it into the existing valley crease and roll it over on itself. Pick up the model and this Time. If they don't match, if you have one angle on the other, you can put it, change it. 
so that they, they're even. I'm once again folded where the jaws come together. Now that's what you have when you have a fish. Now we're going to open it up so that you have your boat and we're going to take the diagonal folded edges, there are four of them, and we're going to fold the short diagonal folded edges to the long folded edge on the top. And we do that four times, two on one side and two on the other side. When you finish that, turn it over from side to side, and once again, take the short folded <coughs> edge and fold it to the top folded edge. And again, and you do that four times. Okay, this time we're going to open it and you have to smooth it out this time. Put your fingers in and it has to, you have to get way down into that corner in order for it to operate properly. You're going to bring the diagonal creases together and this time it's no longer a fish but it has a beak you see the beak so it's a bird now and you're going to hold it the way you did before i'm a friendly hungry bird i was created by a nerd. <laughs> I am hungry all the time. Feeding me is not a crime. Yes, I'm a friendly hungry bird. I was created by a nerd and you're going to make sure you lift up the triangles on both sides and once again you're going to fold the double cut edges on both sides so it looks like this you have to smooth it out again and now you have your bird so you have a fish and you have a bird now they didn't give me scissors so I have to go look for a sample of what the next model should look like. Is something still on the floor? We're running over the time, Laura. Pardon me? We're running over the time. We have to stop because we're running out of time. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Just because some people want to go to the um, airplane contest and some people want to have to take it out on the yes, table here. Certainly. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh.
Oh, here, now, That's what you can this is with. one of the wonderful things you can fold. Now, this time, when you fold the bird, instead of folding in one direction, you're going to fold in the other direction. Now, what do I mean by that? If you take this bird apart, you see this is made, you can see the cut, what I've done with the paper. It's much bigger paper. It's larger paper. And I've done exactly the same thing. I've folded it the same way I did before. You have this. But this time, instead of folding it I just have to show you that when I folded it before I folded it using you see now that I it's a little bit difficult to show. But anyway, you can take the same canoe and make an action model like this bird. And it flies. Fly away, little birdie, way up in the sky. Will you tell me? Dear birdie, who taught you to fly? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Do we still have time? Oh, I thought you said... This is the mask that we would make if we had the time and if we had the scissors which we don't have but you can try this yourself and it really is fun on the video. Okay. You know, we don't get a training, we don't have to get a chance to practice using all this equipment. So if we haven't done it exactly right, did it come out all right? Okay. Thank you. Okay, darling. Okay, stay well.